Hi, this is John with A Shot of the Scripture, inoculating you against the woke mindset of this world with the Word of God. And today we're going to look at Ephesians chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. It says, In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that He has lavished upon us. Uh, you might not have thought about the blood of Jesus Christ being important, but it is extremely important. The Bible tells us that uh, sin cannot be redeemed without the shedding of blood. And uh, they uh, rolled back the sins of uh, ancient Israel by sacrificing animals to God. And uh, it was uh, primitive things that they did in primitive times. But uh, after Jesus came, he became the sacrificial lamb of God. He was actually uh, God in the flesh who gave his life freely and sacrificed his life on the cross so that we can have forgiveness of sin. There would be no forgiveness of sin and we would be guilty of all of our sin uh, if it was not for what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross. And uh, we don't want to be guilty of our sin because the Bible is very, very clear tells us that the wages of sin is death. And that's not just talking about death in this life. Uh, of course, that mankind, once mankind uh, did become sinners, uh, we did end up uh, having death come into uh, the Garden of Eden and to mankind. So uh, it does bring us physical death, but it also brings us spiritual death. Uh, we uh, actually, if we're not born again, if we're not... Uh, um, born again in the of the Spirit of God, then uh, we uh, will face the second death, and that is God's punishment for uh, Satan and his angels, and for all those that choose to not follow Jesus Christ. But God gave us a way out, and that was He sent His only Son Jesus uh, to uh, provide us with salvation, and He sacrificed Himself freely. Uh, taking upon himself the punishment of uh, the crucifixion. Uh, it was a massive flogging that occurred and a beating. And then he was nailed to a cross and executed. But in addition to that, uh, God uh, put the pain and the burden of every sin of all mankind that would believe on him upon him uh, while he was there hanging on that cross. And uh, that's a hard to imagine someone going through that torture. Fact is, when Jesus was praying about it the night before, he was literally sweating drops of blood. And uh, that's something that most people don't do unless they're under extreme trauma. And, uh, but uh, it was a real thing. So Jesus had already had blood loss the night before. And then here he is, he goes on trial and then he's crucified. But he did that because he loves us. And he knew he had to offer up the ultimate gift, sacrifice his self, his life, in order that we might be saved. And he also knew that he had the power over life and death. Because uh, after three days, he rose again. And uh, he conquered over Satan, conquered over death, and conquered over sin itself. And uh, that grace that we see that's lavished upon us those are the good things that Jesus Christ did on the cross for us because he loved us so much that he wanted us to be uh, without sin. When God saves us, when we uh, end up receiving Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, then we are totally cleansed. Uh, the Bible says that God sees our heart and he sees the righteousness of Christ and the blood of Christ applied to us. And he sees our hearts as being white as snow. It's as if we had never sinned. And all those sins are cast as far as the east is from the west. And God remembers them no more. Uh, the cleansing is total. It is complete. And that's the power of Jesus Christ. You need to uh, get to know him as your Savior and Lord. And uh, you can receive that cleansing. And you can have eternal life. And you can have the greatest gift of all, and that is relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, whenever you uh, repent of your sin, and then you believe on him, and you ask to receive Jesus Christ 
as your Savior and Lord, the life example, the one you're going to follow for the rest of your life. And if you do that, then you will be saved. And you will be uh, have received redemption through His blood for the forgiveness of your sins. And that is a great grace that has been lavished upon us. This is John with a shot of the scripture saying, get deep into the word of God and let the word of God get deep into you.